Good morning, Amanda. You're looking at the scene of the third explosion. FBI agents are here. Austin police are still on scene as they begin day two of the investigation of these three bombings. Authorities believe the bombings are somehow connected, and they do think race may be a factor since all of the victims have been black or Hispanic. Right now, Austin police and federal authorities are still trying to find a link between the victims or a motive in all three explosions. They say evidence that each scene leads them to believe they are in fact connected. As of now, two people were killed and two others are hurt after three package bombs were left on doorsteps. The victim here on Valendo Street is a 75-year-old Hispanic woman. She was taken to a local hospital and is in critical condition. Interim Police Chief Brian Manley says the packages are not being left by any official mail delivery services. Victims are finding them in front of their home and they're exploding either by being picked up or being opened. So they said that she opened the door, picked up the package, and it just went off. And from there, the glass went everywhere into her body, into the frame of the house. It just went shooting out. It's not time to panic, but it's time to be vigilant and it's time to pay attention. It's time to pull together as a city and a community and solve this. Police are warning the public this morning if you find any unknown package on your doorstep or somewhere near your house, don't open it, don't even move it, call them immediately. And also police have been saying that they've been responding to a lot of calls reporting suspicious packages. So far, none of them have contained any type of explosive device. Back to the studio.